Hi everyone, quite a few of you who have been uh, watching my videos for a while have been hearing me talk about my daughter, always giving me inspiration when I lack ideas, being quite the creative one. Now besides helping me and giving me ideas, she's actually quite the artist herself. She draws a lot more than, than I do, actually. Within a given week, she's just with her pencils or pens or graphic tablets uh, all the time. Whenever she's got a moment, that's all she does. And so in spite of her being very busy with school and a lot of other things, at the beginning of Inktober, I gave her a little challenge. She has participated in Inktober before, not filming anything, uh, just sharing on her Instagram once in a while her artwork, but this time she didn't feel like she had enough time, but I challenged her to do a mini-tober, like a mini inktober, where she would just doodle something really quick, really small, like just a tiny little doodle uh, for each prompt of the month. She liked the idea and she took on my challenge. So for this video, I'm going to show you what she created. She doodled most of these in class at school. So no reference photo, nothing. And I don't even think she actually sketched anything. She went straight in with her pen. So here she comes. The first Inktober doodle was a fish with legs. It's just been a sort of a doodle that I do all the time. It's an inside joke with my friends of mine to just give a fish legs because I thought the concept was really funny. So I figured that I would do a more detailed version of that for my first doodle. My second doodle was a will-o'-the-wisp, although I was more inspired by Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle than I was by an actual will-o'-the-wisp. Uh, so I ended up coloring it in orange instead of blue. Plus, um, since I was doing all this at school, I only had what was in my pencil case to do it, and I had a neon orange Sharpie, but no, like, blue things to color it with. So I just went with the Sharpie, and it looks pretty good, so... The third thing that I drew for Mini Inktober was a guy with a really large backpack. Um, I noticed after drawing the guy's hair and his glasses that he looked a lot like one of my friend's characters, so I figured I'd give him a miniature ponytail to add on to that. My fourth doodle was, um, for the prompt radio, all I could think of was Welcome to Night Vale, which is a podcast entirely from the point of view of the host of the local radio station of the town of Night Vale. I had a computer with me during the school day, so I was able to just go on Pinterest real quick, look up what the main cover for the podcast looked like, and I drew that. For Blade, I was gonna do something creative like my mom, where um, I did like a windmill or something, or I was gonna do a fan for, you know, you know, like the blades of a fan, but I decided I'd go simple because I had um, not much ink left in my pen, so I just went with drawing a bunch of grass because it's a blade of grass. For number six, I was in math class and I leaned over to my friend and was like, hey, this prompt is rodent, what should I draw? And she responded with, oh, um, I don't know, three rats in a trench coat? And I thought that was hilarious, so I drew it and it came out great. It's probably one of my favorite doodles that I did. For day seven, fancy. I was gonna just draw a really dapper looking man. Um, I gave him an excessively tall top hat and a little tassel, some feathers, some really long tail coat or coattails, just because I thought it'd be, you know, really funny. And then just to add a little more pizzazz to it, I decided to color in his pants, orange, the same one that I used for the Will of the Wisp and part of his hat and the tassel orange as well to make it a little more cohesive. I thought that one was really funny too. I really like his tall boots. For number eight, teeth. I have an inside joke with my friends where every now and then I'll just doodle like some really weird eldritch looking terrifying thing. And um, I figured I'd do that for teeth too, because why not? I also took a lot of inspiration from Shen, who does the blue chair comics, and a few other sources. So I just did like really long pointy needle-like teeth and I colored in the eyes orange because I still had my orange sharpie out so I figured why not. For number nine, throw. All I could think about was the play on word for throwing hands. So I drew a sort of a bar fight, I guess. So there's um, a couple people on the floor that are duking it out. There's a guy who's about to hit another guy with a bottle and <laughs> there's a, another guy who's just kicking over 
another guy. I really like this one mainly because of everyone's externally passive expressions. They don't actually seem to care that they're currently in a fight. They don't seem very passionate about it, and I thought that was just really silly. For number 10, Hope, I drew a baby because when you're first born, you kind of have like a lot of hope for the world. You don't really know that there's all these problems going on. You're very ignorant of everything. But the main reason why I did a baby is because a while ago, one of my friend's baby sisters died and her middle name was Hope. So I wanted to do that in honor of her baby sister. It came out a bit derpy looking, but for just a doodle that came off the top of my mind, I think it came out pretty okay. For number 11, disgusting, I just did like a typical disgusted looking face that I would doodle on like math homework. Um, I doodle these kinds of facial expressions on pretty much anything, especially schoolwork, because they're really amusing to draw. For number 12, Slippery, I was very inspired by that meme and video on YouTube that you can find called Banana Slips on Man. I thought that was such a strange concept and I thought it was really funny, so I decided I doodled that. For the dune prompt, I just drew dunes and camels because that's all I could really think of. It was hard to figure something out for that one that was creative, so I decided to just draw dunes. Um, and you know, it came out okay enough, so... For armor, I've been really into fantasy characters this whole past couple years, and also I really like beetles because I think they're really cool creatures. So I figured that I could just combine beetles and, like, knights, and I made a beetle knight. And it's partially inspired by the game Hollow Knight, which I've never actually played, but I really like the aesthetic from that game. Um, I think the characters are all really cute and the animation's really cool. So yeah, I just- I drew a beetle knight. It's like a staghorn beetle knight. Number 15 outpost is the Karakara Bazaar, I think it's called, from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's a game that I really like a lot and I take a lot of inspiration from it. And I was going to try to draw the little military outpost that's out in the Gerudo Desert, but I couldn't find any reference pictures on Pinterest for it while I had some free time at school, so I ended up just drawing the Karakara Bazaar because it is just a little oasis out there in the middle of the really hot desert um, that you can just be peaceful at. So I think it counts as an outpost. On this one, I did the Rocketeer. I was trying to come up with something creative for the word rocket, so it could have been a rocket ship, could have been like a bottle rocket, maybe like just a little rocket made in like a science experiment. But then I got the idea of drawing the Rocketeer. I used to take music lessons and in the bathroom of the music lessons place there was a poster for the Rocketeer. I really liked the design of it and then eventually I ended up watching the movie The Rocketeer. This was another one of the few doodles that I was actually able to go on Pinterest to get some reference for, and I'm not entirely happy with how the shape of the helmet came out, because the helmet I think is really iconic for this character, but I think the rest of it came out pretty good. I even did some hatching, which isn't too bad looking, so I think it was altogether somewhat successful. Number 17, Storm. I don't know why, but the very first thing that came to mind was using the word storm with something else, so like hail storm, stuff like that. <laughs> Um, but the main thing that came to mind was the Wither Storm from Minecraft Story Mode, and I think this might have been another one that I used reference for, I'm not entirely sure, because it is pretty much just a blob with three heads and three, like, tractor beams, so <laughs> I don't know if I used reference on this one. But yeah, I just took out some Sharpies and that same pen that I used for pretty much every other prompt and drew Wither Storm. I used one of my highlighters that I had with me for the tractor beam, and it came out being pretty much the right color, so I liked that too. I think that was good. For number 18 trap, I wasn't very inspired. What came to mind was the little fly traps that my friend had at her house. I used to have a neighbor that I was also friends with who had these sticky pieces of tape all over like the kitchen to keep the flies out or to make sure the flies didn't get into the food. I thought a Venus flytrap would probably be too common a prompt to do. Also, I would probably require reference for that and I don't think at this time I had that access. A mouse trap would be too obvious, a bear trap would be too obvious, but the sticky piece of tape with the flies on it really came to mind. Especially like thinking Venus flytrap and then remembering, hey, my neighbor used to have a bunch of flytraps too. For number 19, I think this might have been another one of the moments where I was able to have access to Pinterest. I don't know what those books were called anymore, but they were like books that said like Mr. Dizzy, for example, which is what this one is. And then it would have like a really simple character made up with abstract shapes, probably like a hat or some hair. Um, I know that one of them was like Miss Birthday Present and had like a smile and 
hair and maybe even a hat, but she was a square with arms and legs, um, like a hot pink square. So I looked up if there was anything like this, and it turns out that there was a Mr. Dizzy, so I just drew Mr. Dizzy. I was gonna use a sticky note to cover that up and draw one of my characters being Dizzy instead, but I ended up not having the time for that because I had a lot of homework to do, and I also just kind of forgot about that, so I think it's okay. I do feel like I could have done a better, more interesting prompt on this one, especially one that's like something that's not some obscure memory from my childhood that I just barely remember. For Coral, mom really likes this one. A lot of people I showed this to really liked Coral. I wanted to do something really creative for Coral, but kind of like the Dune prompt, it's not really something that you can be super creative with, or at least I couldn't find any ideas for it. So I figured, hey, at least add a little bit of spook to it, so I drew a bunch of strange looking eyes inside of the Coral, but otherwise I just drew a bit of Coral Reef on rocks that I barely detailed with hatching. I'm not entirely pleased with this one, but everyone else seems to like it quite a bit, so I guess that's okay. I guess I'm just kind of happy that I was able to put some eyes in there. <laughs> For number 21, sleep, I'm pretty sure that day I hadn't gotten that much sleep. Uh, so when I woke up, I was very tired. I go to school somewhat early in the morning and I was just exhausted. I decided how about just draw myself because I was very sleepy and that fit the prompt a lot. So I just drew myself doing some schoolwork with a pen in my hand, spacing out as usual <laughs> during class. On 22, chef, I was more inspired by one of my friends that used to go to school with me. He would draw a lot of very strange things, but that were like really funny and cartoony, even though they were a bit creepy too. I ended up taking a lot of inspiration for that, and I drew, you know, just a chef um, holding a knife, but he's also like doing the typical anime laser eyes thing. Um, <laughs> uh, not entirely sure what upset him or like what made him react like that, but it's kind of ominous. He's just a spooky chef, but like not really. 23 Rip was a very strange prompt, and I think I took it a little too far, but I do also really like how it came out. I was gonna change Rip to R-I-P because it's the same three letters in the same order. So I was gonna draw a tombstone, and after a while I was like, but what if the tombstone is being torn in half, but it's like kind of goopy. So I ended up making a tombstone made out of cheese. It's kind of a strange idea. I'm still not sure how I ended up at that conclusion, but I drew a cheesy half melted tombstone being torn in half. And the little shapes on the inside between the line, the like strings of cheese, you couldn't really see them very much. So I added some hatching in the background. And I think that really took out the shapes that I drew. It makes the stringiness of the cheese really visible. And then for, I guess, what would be the dirt, I did like a block of Swiss cheese, but that's not really that visible. I think this was kind of a strange doodle, especially for like the things I was doing, but it came out pretty satisfactory and I'm really proud of how it came out because it looks really cool. For Dig, I couldn't really find anything that was like super interesting. Like my mom, she did a toy dump truck, I think it was, that you'd find at a sandbox, and I thought that was really clever and cute, but I didn't really have that kind of inspiration, so I just did like hiding a body, like you just murdered someone and you're hiding a body type deal. So I drew the grass and I drew the foot, but it didn't look like much because there wasn't enough contrast or something. I, I think that might have been the problem. Um, so I just did like a mound of dirt using scumbling and I added the shovel handle and now it genuinely looks like a murder scene and it's kind of spooky. I kind of like how this one came out. I think Buddy was probably my least creative one. All I could think about was, hey, Buddy is the name of a dog, so why not just make like a lost poster for a dog? And I drew a collar next to it in case it wasn't clear enough, but I think that just kind of made it a little more cheesy. For hide, I don't even know if hide is spelt that way, like an animal hide. So I just drew the lion pelt, something that some old rich guy from like the 1800s would just have lying on their floor as a carpet. I don't know. 27 music, all I could think about was a music box. Um, so I just doodled a music box really. On float, I didn't have any ideas for this at all. And mom's idea of doing a soda float was super creative, but that idea was taken. So I wasn't going to do that too. So I just kind of drew myself face planting into water and floating peacefully coexisting with the world. For 29 shoes, I was going to try to draw a pair of shoes from hind view by memory, but I didn't have any reference and the first drawing I did came out terribly, I think. So I just drew, kind of like on the prompt fancy, I just drew a guy with some really fancy shoes, some really tall shoes, and then I used some highlighters to color it in because it wasn't cool enough, I guess. 
For number 30, ominous. It's not really that ominous and it's not really that spooky, but I just thought maybe a guy with an awkward smiley face standing in the middle of a dark room was kind of spooky, I guess. For number 31, crawl, it was kind of hard to come up with something creative again, so I just drew a spider and called it good, really. And yeah, that's all of my mini October doodles. They were all pretty much done during like three days worth of school. Some of them had Pinterest reference on spare moments that I could use Pinterest on. Most of them did not have that. And yeah, that's that's it. That's my Inktober for this year. I wasn't gonna do Inktober originally, but this came out pretty good. Thank you for watching and happy Halloween! Thank you.